You know, people always ask me, what's one of your favorite groups to manage? And it seems like the most popular group I managed out of all 10 of them was the Hart Foundation. Hey, guess what? It's me, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Sometimes I pinch myself and say, did I really get paid for doing this my whole life? I had Jim the Anvil Lightheart in Memphis, of course. So we had a good little run going as a single. Then all of a sudden they said, look, we're going to uh, add another member to your group, and it's going to be Bret Hart. Now, I asked Jim, I said, who's Bret Hart? He goes, well, I'm married to his sister. And uh, so we got Bret. They came up with what Bret did with the pink and black, because nobody was wearing pink and black. And um, we were in Miami Beach, Florida. And while we were down there one week wrestling, there was a kid in the audience, and he had a sign that says, Jimmy Hart's Hart Foundation Next Tag Team Champions. And we went, oh my gosh, we got to get that sign. Took it back to the office and said, look, I think we found a name for our group, the Hart Foundation. And they said, well, you can't use that because it's copyrighted. I said, what? But they spelled it H-E-A-R-T, you know, like the charity. And we said, no, H-A-R-T. So that's how it all took place back then. And it was a great run for us. But, you know, Brett was so great in the ring and so humble and so good. And Neidhart was just the opposite, you know, People loved Brett, hated me and Jim, but it made a good a, a good little duo that we had there. And then threw me in with a mix with it too, and it was such a thrill. We'd, we'd go to Calgary, and I'd see Stu, and Stu would go, hey, Uncle Jimmy, he'd call me Uncle Jimmy up there. But I'd hear all the stories about the dungeon, and Stu would always go, Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, let, you wanna go to the dungeon and spend the night tonight? And I'd go, no way, I'm not going anywhere over there, because I knew once I got over there, I didn't want to wind up at the bottom of the dungeon. I didn't, you know, everybody's seen it but me, but, you know, I didn't want no holes put on me. And I know once we got over there, they'd do experimentation with me, and I didn't want that to happen. The whole family was awesome.